A U.S. airstrike killed a militia leader in Baghdad linked to Iran, who has been blamed for recent attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq. Meanwhile, an Iranian-backed militia in Yemen launched another drone attack in the Red Sea Thursday. The U.S. and its allies have warned the group to stop or face potential military action. The Navy says Houthi rebels have attacked at least 25 cargo ships and tankers since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. In response, the U.S. says it has shot down 61 missiles and drones and sank three small Houthi-controlled boats in the Red Sea. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins us now from the Pentagon to understand all this activity. David, the U.S. and its allies have sent this warning to the Houthis to stop these attacks. They didn't listen, so now what happens? Uh, put it simply, John, the U.S. and uh, the Houthis in Yemen are on a collision course. Uh, the U.S. and a number of other countries issued this uh, warning to call off these attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea or else, and then a senior administration official followed that up by telling reporters there would be no more warnings. That was the final warning, and since then, we have had at least uh, one more confirmed attack when a uh, suicide uh, a drone boat, an unmanned boat, came out from the uh, Yemeni coastline uh, into those crowded shipping lanes uh, that lead to and from the uh, Suez Canal and detonated. Now, nobody uh, was injured, no ships were damaged in the attack, they were all far enough away from the explosion. Uh, but going through the Red Sea has become such a hazard that nearly 20 shipping companies have told their, uh, their ship captains not to use the Suez Canal, take the long way around Africa, which of course uh, adds time and money to every voyage. The U.S. has tried to uh, frustrate these attacks by uh, putting uh, ships in the Red Sea to shoot down uh, the drones and missiles, uh, but uh, the attacks keep coming. The one thing they haven't done so far is go to the source, mm -hmm. and the source here is, of course, uh, Houthi bases in Yemen. So mm -hmm. if these attacks continue, and the U.S. expects they will, then we can expect to see retaliatory strikes inside Yemen. And David, before I lose you, you're talking about retaliatory strikes, so that's more activity in the Red Sea. There's this uh, U.S. operation in Baghdad. It seems like the tempo is increasing. Give me your sense of, you know, it seems like a lot of activity. What are, are, are Pentagon officials concerned about the tempo increasing in lots of different places? It's not so much the tempo as it is the targets. Uh, this is an escalation. In we have retaliated before for these uh, missile attacks on U.S. troop locations in Iraq and Syria, but we have retaliated against warehouses and safe houses. We haven't gone after the leaders of these militia groups themselves. This time, they specifically targeted uh, one leader, uh, they didn't hit a warehouse, they hit his car. And so uh, this is a way of uh, bringing it home more directly to these uh, Iranian-backed militias. Yes, indeed. David Martin, thank you so much at the Pentagon for us. Thanks, David.